In this video, I'm going to talk about dealing with frustration as a trader. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So if you've been trading a while, you are almost definitely have going to have experienced frustration in trading. And what I want to point out is that frustration can always be found in trading if you seek it. It's kind of like a rainy day. A rainy day for a farmer growing crops who haven't been raining for a while is the best thing ever. A rainy day for somebody going on, let's say a first date wearing a nice suit or a nice dress or whatever it may be and they're caught out in the rain on the streets is the worst thing ever. Okay, a bad example, but you get the point. It's how you perceive it. So let's look at that in the perception of trading or in the, in, the, in the kind of ecosphere of trading. So dealing with frustration. We can seek frustration if we want to. The point is we don't. So where can we seek frustration? Account performance. It can be frustrating that you're not performing where you want to be. In your early years, you will be losing money and that is frustrating. You are constantly asking yourself, why am I losing money? Why am I not making money in trading? Why is my account down? It's down, it's down, it keeps going down, I keep losing money. Why is that I'm frustrating? I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I feel like I'm nearly there, but things aren't happening for me. That needs to be reframed. Yes, it's frustrating, but you need to say, okay, you know what? I've gained some experience. I've done this, I've done that. It will come when the time is right. Let me follow my process and make sure I'm not doing too much damage to my account, of course, but accept it that it's part of the game. Almost like if you're paying for a tuition to become a pilot, paying for a tuition to become a surveyor, a doctor, whatever it may be. You're not going to be frustrated that every day is costing you money when you go to lectures and seminars and practicals and all this kind of stuff or, or, or renting the plane out. You don't want to be frustrated by it. You know that it's part of the game. Hey, why can't I land this 747 yet? Well, you're in week three of your training, mate. You know, that kind of thing. So accepting that it's going to be the way it is. And also, if you're a seasoned trader, you've been trading for a long time, you know there's going to be drawdown. There's no need to be frustrated. Well, you can't, listen, you can't dampen the emotion completely, but you have to accept that this is going to happen and let it pass and let it move on. And don't let it consume you. Too many people are consumed by their account performance. Saying, I've been training for six months, I still can't make money yet. You, It's so early for you. You know, keep at it, keep the risk down, keep the size down, work through, work through each individual problem. Those are videos on that. Uh, go and check it out and also subscribe, you know, for future videos on dealing with that kind of stuff. But it's just the next step, the next step, the next step, the next step, and not letting it get uh, the better of you. Second one is trade performance. It's so easy to be frustrated with your trade performance. Ah, oh, if I'd have just held it, look at that thing that's ripped off to the highs and I closed it out there, or oh, if I'd have got in a bit earlier, I'd be better on this, or the, the classic one is, oh, I wish I'd trade in that more size. That's so frustrating. Your plan is your plan. If you're trading on 10 pounds a point, if you're spread betting or 10 CFDs or 10 contracts, futures contract or a thousand shares, that's your plan. To freak frustrated that you didn't take 100,000 shares is ludicrous. It makes no sense whatsoever. You know, make that decision before and then you can't be frustrated by it. And you could always look at a chart and say, hey, if I'd held it, it would have done this or I hadn't done that. Very rarely going to get the bottom or the top. So it's dealing with that and again, not letting the frustration get the better of you. Okay, third one, guys, missed opportunities. There are so many opportunities out there. There are so many trades that you could have taken. They could have made you lots of money. And you, if you're in the wrong mindset, you're going to sit there and say, ah, if I'd have taken that one, that one, that one, I'd be up 150 grand, whatever it may be. It makes no sense to be doing that because there are so many opportunities. And your job is to take the ones that fit your criteria and just take some money out of the market. You know you only need one opportunity, really, if you're enough size, will make you enough money. So it doesn't matter. There's a lot more to it than the missed opportunities. Uh, the sequence of losses. This can be really frustrating. I know this is the kind of thing that can tweak me if I'm not careful. F sequence of losses, but just going back to the point of this is the way it is. No matter what kind of strategy you've got, you are going to have the series of losses as long as it's within the parameters and you're not doing too much damage to the account. Ride that sucker out and look look ahead for when you're going to push and, and, and kind of get more money out of the market when things are going right. It's going to happen. It can be frustrating. You're never going to eliminate the, the, the emotion completely, but not going in that cycle of it. And then hindsight. We can all look at charts and we can say we would have bought that ball flag. We would have bought that double bottom and it looks so clear 
and when we're looking at the chart and we see all of the rest of the trade after it, but in reality, our eyes are drawn to those. When we look at failed double bottoms or failed bull flags, we don't see them because we're not looking for them in the hindsight. So this is very skewed. It doesn't give us a true picture of exactly what's happening in the real world in real time. So anyway, the point is, guys, these are just some of the things that can cause frustration. I think, you know, a lot of people say maybe, you know, it's anger, despair. I think this is the biggest emotion that many, that most traders face on a day-to-day -day basis in the, in, the, in the career of trading because it goes with so many things, your account performance, your self-performance, your, you know, the trade performance, it's, it's always there. So if there's one thing to master in terms of kind of mindset and discipline and emotional control, it's dealing with with frustration because it will always be present and if you're looking for it you'll always find it the point is reframing it just like the the, the rain example earlier reframing it and saying you know what this is the way it's going to be uh, this is this is this is part of the game of trading and i need to deal with it i need to think of it in a different way and not let any of these things bother me yes one or the other is going to bother you a bit more but if you let all of them kind of bother you which has been the cycle of frustration and you'll never ever get the performance that you want. All right, guys, hope that helps. Uh, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about dealing with frustration as, trader, uh, as a trader. And as always, good trading. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.